Well hi everyone and uh, welcome to my monthly video blog or vlog as you youngsters might like to call it. Um, it's just got into September now, uh, it's the first weekend of September and being a teacher on Monday that means back to work for me. So it's going to be back to doing uh, mainly work overnighters and then at weekends I'll be, I'll be doing quite a bit of coaching. Uh, this weekend I haven't got any coaching on so just to get kind of refocused with my fishing really, I've come down to my local commercial fishery which is just around the corner from my house. Just got a, a light stalking rod six foot with a, a little pellet waggler set up and just really today's all about having a bit of fun, getting refocused. Um, last month uh, I went really hardcore fishing Priory Park and I managed to get my target fish out of there which is called the Double Lin and since then um, I had a great session up in Newcastle, managed to catch uh, a 24 pounder out of Leesers Park which was uh, again a massive achievement because uh, I've always wanted to catch a really big fish from there. Um, I had a couple of weeks out in Spain, well actually one week out in Spain on the Ebro, um, didn't do so well there, it was a very gruelling session um, and since then I've sort of just been kind of in limbo in terms of uh, what I'm going to do with my fishing, having caught my target fish and so forth. There's still a few that I want to go for in Priory Park, um, so I'm probably going to head down there Sunday night uh, and then go straight into work from there. But as I said today, it's just about having a bit of fun catching a few carp on the pellet waggler, so let's see how it goes. Hello again, as I said yesterday, um, I've decided to come out for a, a quick work overnight before my first day back at school tomorrow. Uh, and I've come down to Priory Park, which is the lake I've been doing really well on over the last year. Um, I used to get quite stressed on here if I blanked because I, there was a couple of fish that I really wanted to catch, which was John's fish and the double lin. I've had both of them now, so uh, I'm actually quite relaxed about fishing here. I'm um, going to do a short overnighter, have to be off by 6 in the morning, get packed up, go to work. Uh, in terms of tactics, I'm sticking with what's done re really well on here, which is uh, using the triple end boilies. Um, I'm fishing them uh, over a bed of crushed growlers, tiger nuts and 15 mil boilies, and then I've got the 15 mil pop-ups on multi-rigs. So, uh, Hopefully, fingers crossed, it's going to go well. Well, it's not even properly light yet, but it's time to get up and pack away. Not had any action at all. Oh well, there's always next time. again um, I'm back at Priory Park and it's Tuesday night this part I had intended to shoot at the start of the session once I'd got all the rods out and got settled however um, the fish have had other ideas on this session uh, and I think I'd best let the footage do the talking have a look at this well looks like uh, coming back down again today even though I wasn't quite feeling it, it's paid off because I've just got this lovely 23 pound common just within a, about an hour and a half of putting the rods out. Came from the, the spot down the, the back where I saw a load of fish blowing up there. And uh, this guy is on the bank. 
caught on a 15mm triple N, fished over some uh, crushed triple N boilies and some growler tiger nuts as well. Well chuffed. Well, the expression goes something like it never rains, it pours, and it it has here. Um, I haven't, I didn't have time to get the rod back out because the other one's gone. And uh, I'm very pleased to have a visit from an old friend. This is a fish I caught in February. This one's called One Scale for a very obvious reason. That's his one mirror scale in the middle there. He's a bit heavier this time as well, at 23 pounds, so I'm absolutely delighted. Again, exactly the same tactics, just different spot. Pucker. Well, I really don't believe this, <laughs> but uh, literally 10 minutes later, I've gone and caught another one. This one's even bigger at 27. It's unreal. It's, I've literally had it back on the spot for about 10 minutes. Can't have been any more than that. It's gone rattling off again. And uh, uh, have a look at this cracker. Whoa. 27 pound of pure dumpy Essex Park Lake mirror. I just can't believe what's happening here. This is unprecedented. Right, let's get that rod back on the spot. Well, there you go. Three fish within the space of an hour. It's, it's just completely mental. I mean, for me, it's certainly unheard of down here. It's never happened to me before. Um, and, and 320s as well, including the 27, which is a really good fish. Absolutely mental. When I first got here, um, I did spot that... Uh, in the area that I was fishing on Sunday night, there were fish blowing up all over there. So I had to get on that spot. And then on the second spot, the one I had one scale from, uh, fish boshed out there as well. So I thought, right, game on. And it's, it's just gone absolutely mental. Cannot believe it. I was, I mean, an hour about whether to come out and fish tonight, because um, I had a pretty sort of intense day at work. Uh, getting new classes sorted out and I thought can I really be doing going fishing and then up at six tomorrow and in again I just thought sod it let's, let's go down there and give it a go and I really am glad I, I ha have done now because it, it's just been amazing what, what an amazing session I know it's not even properly dark yet um, I mean whatever happens tomorrow at work I'm going to be on cloud nine all day it's just brilliant. Well, I've got a home cooked chilli with my name on it uh, that I haven't been able to cook yet. So I'm hopefully going to be able to uh, have a break from the fish to eat that. And then we'll see what else happens throughout the night. Well, darkness has just fallen and I've had another one, a bit of an odd one. As you can see, it's a grass carp, but I was led to believe there was only one in here and uh, this one's considerably smaller than the one I had uh, earlier in the summer at £12. Uh, this one can't be more than about £8, £9. Well, this is the painful part. It's uh, just before six. And it's time to get up and pack away. Nothing else has happened through the night, so uh had a few hours, Kip. So... Time to pack up and go to work. Well, it's about an hour and a half since I left the park and uh, I'm now in my classroom and I'm Mr Salisbury, ready for the day at school. So in about 15, 20 minutes or so, this room will be full of about 30 year 10 students making lots of noise. And I think uh, a lot of this is going to be my friend today, but here's to it. Well, you'll never guess what, I've finished work and I've come fishing again, yeah. It's still, uh, what day is it? Wednesday, yeah. Um, so I've come back down to the park again, thought why not, we did so well yesterday. Um, this time I've come round to the shallower side of the lake. The lake is actually split in two by a large island. 
and it's got a, a narrow channel either side of it where the fish can pass through and I checked out my swim from yesterday that I couldn't really see any fish there this time but I've come around the other side and I've seen a hell of a lot of fish blowing up uh, mainly mid-water lots of plumes of mud coming up lots of bubbles few crashing out so I, I've stuck with the same tactics with the, uh, the tri triple end boilies and uh, chopped tiger nuts triple end pop up on a multi rig and they're out there and as Barry Norman might say and why not so we'll see if we get any action tonight well the night has passed uneventfully uh, apart from a tench at four o'clock this morning in typical Priory Park fashion there's fish all over the spot still and can't get a bite <laughs> so it's just a complete contrast to uh, what happened the previous night, but uh, oh well, mm. time to pack up and off we go again. Hi everyone, uh, it's Friday the 15th of September now, so I just thought I'd bring you up to speed what I've been doing the last week. Uh, Sunday night I fished down the park again, uh, couldn't get in the swim I wanted so I fished the other side of the channel and in short it was pretty much a non-event, didn't catch anything. Uh, went back the following night, Monday, and managed to get in my favourite swim and luckily had two fish out, nothing massive, I had uh, a nice mirror of about £10 uh, and then a common probably around the same sort of size. So that was, a, that was a fairly decent session, getting a few out. I went back again last night, that was Thursday night, and about three o'clock this morning, I had a lovely 24 pound mirror. It's not a fish I've seen before, so I was really, really pleased to catch that. Uh, again, it was on the, uh, the Triple N, chopped boilies, some chopped tiger nuts, and a uh, Triple N pop-up fish over the top. So yeah, really pleased with that. A bit tight today, but never mind. And you'll probably notice I'm out on the bank. It was a, it was a Friday, and the reason for that is because every Friday I take out a group of students from my school, uh, and we do a, a BTEC in fish husbandry. Yes, we have actually got fishing on the curriculum. As far as I know, it, it's the only school in the country that does that. And what we do is basically every Friday we'll come out to a local fishery. We're at Rochford Reservoir at the moment, which is uh, another local park lake, and we'll do a mixture of things. We'll do practical angling and also fishery maintenance, as the students have to do that uh, as part of their course. So often it will be just sort of general tidying up, or we could be building swims, or doing a bit of gardening, cutting the trees back, anything like that. But they seem to really enjoy it. Um, we haven't had much joy today, uh, just sort of one very small carp out and a few bream. Fishing very slow, but hopefully we might pick something up by the time we've got to go. Well done Scotty, lovely little scaly there from the park, nice. Hello again, just thought I'd bring you up to speed on where we are, it's uh, now Friday 23rd or 22nd of September, um, obviously we fished down Watchford Res last Friday, uh, didn't do particularly well, had a few small carp out in the end. Um, then I had, a, I had a very busy weekend. On the Saturday, I was uh, at Burkett Hall Fishery in Wooden Ferris, which is where I am now. It's a Rayleigh Angling Club water, and uh, we had a junior match on there last Saturday, so I was helping out with that. Um, that was a really good day, over 20 youngsters competing, uh, and about 176 pounds of carp came out. Well, not just carp, it, it was quite big, so that, that was really good. Um, and then Sunday, busy again, had my uh, my own angling school, which we call Salisbury School of Angling, and I uh, had three participants with me at Rochford Res. Again, it, it didn't fish very well for the carp, which was a bit 
uncharacteristic of that place. Uh, we did have a few small ones out, but in the main, uh, it, it was just very good silverfish sport. Had lots of nice roach, a few bream, uh, gudgeon, perch, and a few eels as well. Uh, but all the uh, participants really enjoyed themselves, so that was good. Um, then last night I was at Priory Park in South End again for a, a short overnighter. Uh, I managed to have one out uh, just before midnight and that was a common of about £12. So I'm keeping me average up on there. That's all good. And uh, as I said, I'm back at uh, Burkitt Hall here again today with my uh, fish husbandry students. And uh, they've been catching fairly steadily throughout the day. Nothing massive. And I managed a, a little scaly one myself on a poloni boily, so so that was nice to have too. Um, tomorrow going to be really busy again because I've got um, a new coaching project starting up, uh, and I'll be at Watchford Res again. And then Sunday at a day ticket fishery, so I'll catch up with you soon. Well, that's my September video blog over with and I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it's given you uh, an insight into what I do um, on a week to week basis with uh, both my personal fishing and my coaching and particularly with regard to the work overnighters. On the subject of those, I, I do have a lot of people saying to me, anglers as well, I don't know how you do that or I could never do what you do. Well, the truth of the matter is that everyone can do it. It's just a case of either you haven't tried it or you just don't want to do it. Um, but for me, I, I guess years ago, I used to read uh, Julian Cundiff's columns in, in Carp Talk and Carp World and the like, uh, where he would talk about doing um, overnighters between work during the week. And I used to think to myself, there's no way I could do that. Uh, that's just crazy. But... The more I thought about it and the more I wanted to achieve targets in terms of target fish, I realised that that was probably the best way to do it because the lakes are going to be a lot lot quieter. Um, and just simply by putting the hours in, you, you give yourself more of a chance. So uh, that's basically why I've, do, why I've been doing it and it has been very successful because I've achieved all my targets on those sessions rather than fishing at weekends. And at weekends, I, I tend to be doing more of the, the coaching anyway, so that, that pretty much rules any personal fishing time out. So, as I said, that's the September video blog over with. Um, I'll see you again in October where I'll be doing a bit more of the same and also fishing a few different venues as well. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon.